begin. Welcome to today's video of Match Grade Machine versus Match Grade Machine and Match Grade Machine. Right you are guys, in today's lineup we're going to be taking a look at our muzzle brakes on our rifle and in specific this rifle. What do we got here Dylan? Alright folks, our first contender is actually an Encore chambered in 308 Winchester. 20 inch barrel spiral fluid with 5.8 24 muzzle threads. And for a comparison today we had our shooter out there Ryland. Ryland how are you feeling after all that? What? And that's why you wear hearing protection, folks. Right you are, Dylan. In this first clip, we have a brakeless rifle that will break your shoulder more. Running against the tactical radial. Clearly the winner here. Right you are, Dylan. As we come into this other comparison, oh, look at that muzzle lift as the tack radial settles down quicker, getting you back on target. Not even close. That 308 will kick your shoulder off without a break. I'll tell you what, boys. Coming in with a rat! <laughs> And of course, we're going against the Silencer Co. Suppressor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a little bit better there. Much better. As we go into the comparison, oh, yeah, look at that muzzle rise. Very comparable here. I don't know which one's going to get the lead. My ears are still ringing. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Let's go back into an instant replay. Rylan, what's going through your head right now besides the back of that scope? <laughs> well, besides my bleeding eardrums, the sound reduction of the suppressor was quite nice, but recoil management was about the same. Mm. And here for the second time, we've got the TAC radial, and it is going to go up against the 360 radial as seen here. Here they go head to head. What is the difference between these radials here, Dylan? Well, glad you asked, Logan. Short and sweet. The TAC radial is a half inch shorter, yet just as effective. Ah, right you are, Dylan. Rylan, how are you feeling about the radials? What? Going into this showdown, we've got our oldest muzzle style with a bare muzzle going against our brand new Sixer brake. This one's the rookie. What are your thoughts on this one, Dylan? Well, we designed this brake so that you can shoot it prone, and it's very effective. Very effective indeed, and no dust all over your optics while shooting this. Unlike the radials, which blow gases all around, now we've got a prone style brake, which is more effective than the radials. Indeed. Call that from kicker to Sixer. And going up to our final event, which is the showdown. 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 In this final event, we're going to have the rookie sixer going up against the suppressor. Whoa! Nothing. Did that even go up? I'm not sure it did, guys. Here we go with the final showdown. We've got less muzzle rise on our sixer than the suppressor. That's going to get you on target faster. Indeed. And being lighter weight. So there you have it, folks. We've got ourselves the Muzzle Brake Breakdown. 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 We appreciate you watching Match Great Machine Muzzle Brake Breakdown. After this episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment what you think. And, of course, this is going to conclude that the Sixer is our best option for muzzle brakes. What do you think of that, Dylan? Right you are, Logan. So, this is going to be our recommended muzzle break from here on out. When you call Match Crate Machine, this is what we'd be suggesting. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Cheers. What? Headshot. <laughs> Something stupid. This like one's that. called the Hurt Blocker. Ouch. ATF regulated. Unlike earplugs. <laughs> I meant to say. I love how awkward he is. It's adding to the comedy. I meant to say that. Did someone say it's a replay? <laughs> Alright. Right you are, Logan. Alright you are, Dylan. Right you are, Logan. Shit, I got out of you. Right. I'll cut that out right there. Right you are, Dylan. <laughs> Alright, we finally made it through that one. Woo! Everyone hit their lines. Good work, people. Alright, next. <laughs>